Welcome home, Bitcoin Truth Seekers. It is Tuesday, March 9th, 3.54 p.m. here in the Arizona desert. Check out Bitcoin Daily View. Got more for you there, of course. Uh, a cool interview with uh, Dominic Frisbee uh, up at the top. And also his cool book, uh, Daylight Robbery, which is about uh, kind of the history of the world via taxes. It's very interesting. This interview is really cool, covering Bitcoin, gold, and tax with Dominic Frisbee. Fun interview. Also a good YouTube channel in general, uh, what Bitcoin did. Uh, one should give them a follow if they so desire. It is good crypto news. Looking at the market against USDT or USD, mostly green today. It is a rocking, beautiful day. Bitcoin's up 6% last 24 hours, coming in at 54,800. Not bad at all. DOT doing well. BNB off the charts. Ethereum up almost 3%, back over 1,800. Nice to see that. ADA, Cardano up almost 10%. XRP, even though they've gotten some maybe bad news recently as far as, uh, I think, uh, partnerships going away. Still up 2%. They're 48 cents right now. Not bad at all. LTC looking good. Just clicked above $200. I like seeing that. So in general, it's a wonderful day. Theta up 12%. Good, glorious day against USDT. Now against Bitcoin. Well, Bitcoin's been pumping. So only super strong coins have kept up. Like DOT has. BNB certainly has. So has Theta. And ADA, this is, this is looking at an average over the last 24 hours. It was not in the green until recently, so ADA against Bitcoin is making a move. XRP is not keeping up against Bitcoin, though. So in general, Bitcoin definitely moving up. So crypto market in general against USDT, USD looking great against Bitcoin. A little harder to keep up, but still against USDT looking wonderful. 7.8 billion last 24 hours in Bitcoin trading volume. 4 billion of that on Binance and 1.4 billion of that on Coinbase. Nobody else showed up for a billion. Blockchain whispers showing longs versus short sentiment on Binance for all that glorious volume is 59% longs and 40% shorts. So the sentiment is long. S&P 500 up top. Green day. Green daily candle. Russell 2000 underneath that. Green green candle today. Um, U.S. dollar strength index, the DXY, red candle today. Looks like possibly here on the, on the daily chart is having, uh, it's finding resistance, trying to get to the turn moving average. Not surprising. All right, NASDAQ, green candle today. And also, do not, recently it has pumped above the 21 EMA. Not bad at all. Nice to note that the S&P 500, the Russell 2000 index, and the NASDAQ are above the turn moving average. Um, and actually today they're all above the 21 uh, EMA, so not bad at all. Poor little dollar strength index is trying to get above on the turn moving average, but looks like it's finding resistance. So little DXY, we'll root for you. All right, looking at Bitcoin on the daily chart, as you can see, it's a beautiful green candle today. Bitcoin's on fire. It is pumping. Note the MACD. We've had a positive MACD cross on the daily above the mid-range there. Histogram is starting to open up towards the positive side after this cross. That is a big deal. Daily MACD, positive cross for Bitcoin. Of course, we're well above the 20 moving average and we're above the 21 EMA. Lambo mode incoming. Looking at the four hour chart, as you can see, we did recently have some visits to the 200 moving average, but we are cruising up. All systems are go. Dodged at the uh, dirt channel next is green. ADX is right around uh, 17 or 18. Not bad at all. Wait till it hits around 20. So it's getting above that. We're going to see some serious action here. Uh, you know, stochastic RSI would possibly show slightly overbought, but it does not matter. It can certainly go sideways while Bitcoin Lambos. So for our chart looking really really beautifully strong for Bitcoin 45 minute chart looking glorious one night one thing to note is uh, if you can see this red moving average right there that is the eight moving average in general you don't you don't stay too far from it very long and so if you see a pump but yet it has stayed close to that um, uh, eight moving average or at least snapped back to it that's very good it's very organic so this pump definitely is sustainable here on the 45 minute chart of course about the two moving average dollar strength dollar strength index now uh, di is green uh, adx has been uh, cruising uh, down a little bit mainly you can kind of see what set it off so the you know the the slight 
up and down volatility there. Definitely got the 80X uh, trending down a little bit, but that's fine. It looks like it's tipping back up. Like I say, the directional index is in the green. A, uh, KRI, it's beautiful. It's in the green. And of course, the uh, stochastic RSI is in this beautiful buy zone and cruising up spiffily. So, um, wow, in general, Bitcoin completely strong, wonderful, ravishing chart. As always, not financial advice, entertainment purposes only. I'm not a financial advisor or a life coach, but here I am. So, Ethereum versus USDT. Uh, I love it. It's made a recent balance, a, a recent cross above the 314 moving average and the 200 moving average. Looks like it's not going to visit that 200 moving average for a retrace, and it's on the way up. Indicators look powerful. Indicators look good. Ethereum U versus USDT looking powerful. Ethereum versus Bitcoin under that. Mm, you know what? I wouldn't swing it yet. I would love, like many, to have that glorious uh, Ethereum versus BTC trade, but with Ethereum pumping, it ain't there yet. But a trade uh, Ethereum versus USDT, straight up, hell yeah. All right, ADA, Cardano versus USDT. It's been above the term moving average for quite a while. It's the four hour chart. You can see a recent uh, turn up here. Um, directional next is in the green. Uh, squeeze indicator is showing green. I bet you will probably see some white ping pong balls before too long. And uh, you can check out the squeeze indicator over at a Bitcoin Daily View. Um, it is linked to uh, KRI is looking good. Stochastic RSI is in a good spot. Uh, ADA versus USDT looking wonderful. Uh, and just to keep things a little brief in the future, I'm going to stop looking at uh, alts versus USDT and BTC unless there's some strong reason to do so because it just slows things down a bit too much. And in general, we can kind of see the trend if you're all green against BTC against USDT and you had a mix of you know green and red against. Uh, uh, BTC, you kind of know where things are going. It's like I would say, you know, if theta right now it's strong against BT against USDT and it's strong against BTC, you know, we'll take a look at that. But anyway, I don't want to babble, but I'm getting away from doing these splits here because it's just it's confusing to see. I hear from people, and uh, it's just well, it's just it's a pain in the ass. So we'll just look at uh, at the alt versus USDT. Like I say, let's have some compelling reason to look at it versus BTC also. Anyway. Uh, Cardano, ADA, looking wonderful, setting up for a continued uptrend. That's a four-hour chart. Let's look at it on the 45-minute chart. All right, let it render. Okay, yep, recent uh, cross the moving average and the 314 moving average. The blue diamond means it got through the uh, 200 and the uh, 314 moving average rather quickly within like two candles. Um, directional next is in the green. ADX is, gosh, it's glorious right around 30. A squeeze just completed, it, but it looks like one's beginning to start again. KRI is looking great, and stochastic RSI is in that buy zone. So, ADA versus USDT, straight up unleashed. I think it lost some territory recently, as you can see. Um, and I think, as you can see, it was uh, up here. Where were you? You were around like, gosh, 1.4, almost a dollar fifty. You know, 150. Um, uh, so, or one point, yeah, one one fifty, yeah. Anyway, so it looks like it wants to get that back. So I could definitely see it. Um, you know, if it actually did, in some reasonable amount of time, just get back basically what it lost. Um, well, like a reasonable amount of time, that could be like twenty percent in two days, two or three days. Uh, but it could do that much quicker. So anyway, I'm watching ADA against USDT. Looks like a powerful move. All right, uh, dot. Everyone loves dot. Um, it hasn't touched the moving average on the forty, on the four-hour chart for quite a while. Uh, directional index is looking good. Uh, ADX is starting to trend up uh, positively. Squeeze indicator just firing off, and you can see the uh, chart does reflect that. So boom, we are. This is powerful. Okay, our eyes in the green. Um, stochastic RSI a little high, but who cares? Um, dot is moving again. It's wonderful. Let's look at the 45-minute chart for a little bit more immediate price action. Yeah, that's a powerful chart. Uh, dot versus USDT definitely has some movement upward to do. How's it extended? A little extended over the moving eight, but I think looking at these indicators, it's probably got a little bit of a, a, bit of a run ahead. All right.
um, Tether versus USDT, not Tether, duh, uh, Theta versus USDT up top. It's been running today, but it's starting to slow down. But in general, the indicators look strong against USDT, and Bitcoin looks strong also. It was running earlier. It's beginning to do a turn down. I could definitely see that turning around. It's one that I am watching. I will say this, Stochastic RSI is way high for both these, and we're getting the turn down, but squeeze indicator is in effect. Um, KRI is in the green, but turning down on both these. Uh, uh, directional index is green. Um, I would just watch this one, Theta Token, uh, definitely an NFT play these days. People are using it for NFTs, although it does much more than that. Uh, it's getting in popularity. It's running pretty hard. Um, you know, I would watch for a reversal here. I mean, as in it's been pumping, I'd watch for, for a reversal like uh, a return closer to the uh, moving eight average right there. Um, and it's the same with uh, Bitcoin, against Bitcoin. I think it just overextended a little bit. Watch for this thing to go sideways for a candle or so on the 45 minute chart and then continue up. Of course, not financial advice, entertainment purposes only, but I'm definitely watching the theta. I think it's got some run in it. All right. I am glad, truly glad you are here, Bitcoin Truth Seekers. I will try to get these out like super early in the morning rather than later in the afternoon like I just did today, but here it is. It makes a difference, Bitcoin Truth Seekers. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for being part of the Peaceful Revolution. I'll see you tomorrow.